Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Sraphic Zero, and I know you must be really scared and confused right now, but yes, this is not a video game, and <laughs> yeah, we're actually doing a video review right now. So, uh, yeah, I don't do this very often, but uh, let's talk about this. So, are you a model kit builder who has a lot of money but no talent? Then, could I interest you in a line of products called P Bandai? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I'm a little late with the delivery, but um, this is the Gundam Heavy Arms Endless Waltz uh, Eagle. I think it's the, the Eagle, uh, the Eagle unit. Yeah, so this is a like a P Bandai variant of the Master Grade Heavy Arms Endless Waltz, and so it's it's a, essentially the the Toki fied like a TV version of the Heavy Arms. It's just got the one Gatling cannon. And the Eagle unit is essentially an unholy shit ton of micro missile attachments. Um, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and just do an unboxing video. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the box first. Of course, it's in that, um, that classic P Bandai. We're just gonna monochrome the shit out of the box, which is, I guess it's kind of a cool theme, but I think uh, the box art would be cooler if they just did it in like the regular colors. You know, as far about my awful, like, uh, man hands. Yeah, and the box doesn't really have all that much going on. Does it have the name of the artist on here? Uh, no blue required. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's on there somewhere, but I'm, yeah, I'm very illiterate right now. Yeah, and then there's, there's nothing on the underside of the box, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Okay, and as you can see, it is a crazy deep box. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, and there are the, the decals. Let's see how many pieces we have in there. Okay, looks like parts from here. Wow, this, this is, uh, I think this is part of the Eagle unit. Missiles. Okay, it looks like more parts for the Eagle unit. Okay, here are the white armor pieces, including a few uh, Troa figurines. And these are, uh, looks like the internals and the gray parts. Probably more like skeleton parts than inside parts. Okay, so there are two manuals in your P Bandai's. You have your standard manual, which is instructions on how to build the base unit. I don't think there should be any modifications on this. Uh, yeah, all looks pretty normal. Okay, and the extra manual for the Eagle unit. Yeah, so the Eagle unit is just uh, these uh, four missile pods and then the, the treads on the back of the legs. You get a closer look at them right here. That is a lot more missiles than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I like... Yeah, I feel like there's even more surface area that could have capitalized on. Wow, these are some really nice diagrams in here. Okay, so here are the building instructions. Oh, interesting. I wonder if the the legs are any different. Like, yeah, because they have some instructions for attaching the feet on here. I wonder if that's gonna affect the build differently at all. Yeah, and here are all the same parts we saw. So, yeah, basically, <clears throat> yeah, four pages of instructions. Yeah, so let me go ahead and um, take the runners out of these packages so we can like, uh, have a look at the new runners. 
Okay, so here are all the runners, uh, pretty much running from A through whatever the hell the last letter is. <laughs> I didn't they really check. Yeah, X A through X A. Yeah, so these runners right here are basically the base frame for the the standard master grade of the uh, Gundam Heavy Arms on this waltz. I already have that master grade, and I actually really really like that kit. Uh, it just um, it just took an extremely long time to build because you see all these panels that open up on that thing, um, like the the chest and the the shoulder missiles and the leg missiles and stuff. Uh, you have to build all of those panels, so it was actually the most time-consuming master grade I've built so far. But anyway, uh, these are the new runners. Uh, you have your WA, uh, your D a little bit, and uh, WC 1 and 2, and uh, the WB. Yeah, so these parts make up the new Eagle unit, and when I eyeballed the manual, so I was planning on actually... Um, just building the Eagle unit and maybe just sticking it on my previous Master Grade Heavy Arms. But the instructions aren't really written that way. So uh, the way you have it is you're actually supposed to blend the two manuals together. Um, you're supposed to like uh, build some, heart, some parts of the standard Heavy Arms and then uh, build uh, the Eagle unit parts. And yeah, it basically has uh, the new order like a listed here in the second manual so i don't know how successfully you can just build the eagle units and stick it on your original uh, heavy arms master grade uh, the new book seems to suggest that you have to blend them together so that might not be possible but yeah i guess after this i'm gonna just spend some time just putting uh, this kit together with the eagle unit um, i think the original master grade took me like two weeks <laughs> <laughs> or something very time consuming but i guess whenever we're back then uh, we'll come back and do a video of uh the, the kit all together with the new parts um i'm pretty much a straight build simon so we're pretty much just gonna put the kit together i, I don't really do much sanding uh no paints um at most i might i might do some hand lining but anyway guys that's it uh for the unboxing of the master grade heavy arms eagle unit uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and we'll be back with uh, the kit fully built in, I guess, a couple of weeks. We'll see you next time.